One of the, I think, the lessons of the whole nuclear Yucca Mountain project, in my mind, is that you don't have to take what the federal government wants to dish out. You can stand up and fight a city hall, if you will. DOE probably was its worst enemy in this regard. They had a very poor strategy in dealing with media and the public in general. I mean, they had this attitude that permeated even from back from the AEC days that, listen, we're the federal government, we're the nuclear experts, we know better, don't bother your pretty little heads with all this information, you don't really need to know that. All you need to know is you can trust us and we'll do the right thing. And so the direction to me and to the folks we work with was fairly clear, just do what you can to stop this. And, and this, we developed a, a very comprehensive and I think uh, sophisticated strategy that involved not only uh, trying to acquire and, and defeat DOE in the scientific arena, but also in the public relations arena, also in the political arena uh, on Capitol Hill as well as in, in, in Nevada and also a legal strategy. We knew DOE had much more money, much more uh, uh, power behind them, and we know that we could leave no stone unturned. We couldn't afford to make a mistake, and we had to use every bit of the resources we had to, to, to counter them. If the process had been followed where you had multiple sites, they were compared and contrasted, and the best one emerged, then at least you began to develop confidence in a process. But when you go through the process that Yucca Mountain has done, where you try to force feed this site uh, on one state, you manipulate the data, you manipulate the regulations, it's a, it's a recipe for disaster. And I, I believe in this country, there are gonna to have to be many generations go by before people forget or don't quite remember exactly what transpired here before any effort in this country is going to be successful because the whole process has been so distasteful and so uncomfortable and so lacking in public trust and confidence that it, it, it will permeate any effort to site a repository, any facilities in the future. Can you imagine communities across the country saying, look what they tried to do to Nevada. <laughs> We're not going for that. I mean, no one's going to buy this stuff. So I think it's important in this country to take the time and effort to try and do what they can to get this um, episode uh, at least off the table, but not forget about it because it has important lessons for the future about how we might site facilities that we might need down the road. So I think the, the, the board and the commission is right to focus on these issues because without the public trust, without the public confidence, um, no project is ever going to go forward no matter what they do.